He was in my DMs though. That's crazy. Shoot, I had to so back then it was getting your nails painted. Yeah, ever since like yeah. feel self conscious in a way. Yeah. Be some yeah. better niggas out here. It do. <laughs> What is up, y'all? Welcome back to another freaking video. Welcome back to Marshall Says, where I typically do have a lot to say. Today we got Benny, Benny in the building, y'all. Let's give a round of applause for Benny. It took a while to get him here, but he's here. Hey, I'm here. I'm here. I'm better about that. So as y'all can tell by the title, today I'll be asking Benny uncomfortable questions that we all would like to answer to. So, I don't know if he's going to answer them all, but he got to answer them all. I'm sending videos today. Come on, so <laughs> Alright, we're just gonna get right into the video, y'all. Okay, so. The first question is Have you ever tried peeing sitting down? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Like, by accident type shit. By, <laughs> by accident, like, you know how like, you, you check out number two type shit and you didn't know? Yeah. Type shit, and I'd be like, damn. Because you could have stood up for that. Like, I didn't know I had to. Uh, and it just, like, happened. Like, it happens sometimes. You know, it happens. Uh -huh. Now, I don't like go, I'm going to sit down to go pee. Nah, not him. <laughs> so, you ain't never tried intentionally to sit no, down and pee? Not even as a kid, no. No. Maybe as, like, a toddler. You know how y'all sit in the room, motherfucker? Yeah. That's about when you it. Training. About it. About it. <laughs> Hell no. So, just the potty training. What's the point? <laughs> What's the point? I don't know. Uh, curiosity. Maybe like, hmm. Yeah. Some girls, they like, you know, how does it feel to pee like a dude? Type shit. They even got plastic funnels you can put right there to pee it out like a pee. That's too much. It is. That's it's overboard. Right yeah, that's something that shit going to fuck you up in the, in the long run. But I think people are buying it. Especially for them drunk nights you need to pull over them. <laughs> I know y'all got that a lot. Y'all have those a lot. Too. Oh, I ain't gonna do that, though, man. If it's for that reason, I pay too. Maybe that's still a little too much for that. So technically, girls have stood up. Yeah, but nigga, nigga, like, no nigga should just be like, "Hey, I'm gonna go piss." Yeah, sit, sit down. And you hear like a girl pee and pay shit. It don't sound nothing that manly, you know. Yeah. Like, <laughs> okay. Hey. So the second question: Do you feel any less of a man around? gay men. Any less of a man? Yeah. Any less of a man are like, we're like self-conscious of you because of the gay men around you. Cause I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't feel less of a man, but I do feel self-conscious in a way. Like, yeah. I hope you don't think I'm a part of the group. Like, yeah, shit. like, don't yeah. be like me. I ain't yeah, giving that it. too. Yeah. But I already know you can't, like, it might be controversial. Like, you can be cool. But you can't be buddy buddy because sometimes somewhere in there somebody gonna somebody gonna try something. Try to cross yeah, the line with yeah. you. That's yeah. So the answer you've never like felt less of a man, but you do feel like I, I feel like my guard do be up. Yeah. Like what's going on? And plus in public, you don't want everybody I don't want nobody thinking I'm gay, you know. Like, right. I'm straight, you know, feel me? But I wanna feel less of a man, but I do feel self conscious. Like yeah. On my toes, to, type shit, twenty four yeah. seven. Like I'm on alert, twenty four seven. Right. As long as they don't get the wrong idea, type shit. Type shit, type shit. You can be cord to poop. That's about it. Right. right. Okay. So number three, why don't guys like their butt touched? <laughs> so of course, like in a relationship, the girl likes the hug, touch the guy's butt. Uh -huh. Or in some sports, I know they spank guys' butt, but yeah. why don't guys like their butt? That's too vulnerable for us, for me at least. You know, Why? Like, it's like what you trying to say. Like I ain't no piece of, I ain't no piece of ass type <laughs> shit. Got me up. I ain't no piece of I'm ass. Not saying that y'all either, but <laughs> what the fuck you trying to say? Like, is that too feminine? Yeah, it's too feminine. So That's what about in sports feminine. when the guy's like, yeah, boom, he smack his butt. Yeah, you got two points, boom. That'd be in the heat of the moment, but still, but what somehow that mean, everybody though? can can take that. Like, okay, for like this. But like, is you know, like some shit that somebody might do with their brother, yeah, that they won't do with no other like man out here type shit, type shit. Like, okay. It's like a brotherhood type shit. Okay. It's not no, 
we friends, we friends. Nah, it's a little bit more than just friends. It's more like a brother. You might let some shit like that slide because you know it's not intentional in that way. But some niggas, nah, even with some niggas, like, nah, you know that. Yeah. Niggas, nah, don't touch that type shit. Right. So, That's how I be feeling about like people in general. You know how some people put their hand on your shoulder, pat you, just that little stuff. Be like, nah, you can't do it, but maybe you know, yeah. somebody I'm comfortable. With. You can tell when it's genuine. You can tell when it ain't. Yeah. So, so don't touch his ass. Yeah. Don't touch. Yeah. <laughs> bottom of the score. Bottom line. Okay. I don't even play basketball no more. There ain't no reason, motherfucker. <laughs> I and I forgot that. to mention, we got 14 uh, questions. Yeah. Right, so, we on number four. How often do you have sexual intercourse? Man, that's funny that you ask that question. Dang, now that I'm... I don't I ain't had sex in sex at me. Like that is... I'm actually celibate right now. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. For a short period of time, I'm looking on my end, my end of it right now. But I think I can be honest. Last time I had anything, it was like a day before my birthday, June first. My birthday is June first, so like June second. Mm. Yeah, I'm in focus right now. But it's been eight months for me. Shit, <sighs> feel like three years, but eight months. So four months. Yeah. Which 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 you uh. What you on your spiritual journey or something? No, I just ain't saying hello to everybody. Like, it's a lot of that, but I don't judge nobody get it how you fit in. But, uh, I mean, if you need yeah. it, I guess you're going to go seek it. You're going to seek it, motherfucker. I ain't going to lie. It's a lot of seeking going around. But okay, four months for you. What about you? Yeah, you just told me. I was about, yeah. to, I was about to flip the script. I was, like, I was about to get the chance to play. Hold no, on. no. I be telling <laughs> now I'm proud of that. Not that, you know, I was loose as a goose, but it's just like... Yeah, you know, yeah. I ain't embarrassed. It ain't like I can't get that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So nothing to be embarrassed. It's about. different from when you choose not to. Yeah. Than when you just got no fucking choice. Yeah, right. There's a lot of people just don't got no fucking choice. Because they're all 30 year old virgins that are somewhere. But it is. I think it's just due to my job. Yeah. I'm going to pray for you, baby. Okay. Should, should I drop a video for them? Like, you sorry. should. I've been feeling sorry for them. I used to do that work. He asked me, he was from Africa or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. He was like, bro, how do you get girls? But he was like, I can pay for them. I'm like, but I don't pay for shit. He said, how do you pay for them? <laughs> yeah. Them? I was like, bro, I don't, I don't pay for shit. I'm like, damn, it's a real problem, bro. Yeah, you need to drop some tips. Yeah. For the ones who don't know. Yeah, yeah. So number five, what's the worst thing you've done for love? I don't want to say worst thing, but maybe dumbest thing, most delusional thing, you know. That I've done for love? Yeah. Shit. So right now, you probably look back and like, what the fuck? That I did that yeah. shit. Like, I'd say the worst thing that i probably done was like, with my ex, I paid a bill after we were broke up. That shit. I was like, oh, why the fuck did I do that? Uh, like, a friend or something? Water it was like something like Elisha was paid me type shit. So I wasn't there no more. Like, motherfucker, I ain't there no more. I really didn't have to. Yeah, but yeah. But then after I did that shit, I was like, nigga, what the fuck? I still remember that motherfucking price right now. How much, how much was it, actually? Let's get it. It was one. like it's like 178 or some shit like that. Did they say thank you or anything? Acknowledge it? Shit. Not that the <laughs> Not the type of thank you I wanted at that moment, but yeah, it was something like that. Mm. Yeah, it was some years ago, though. I mm. said, like, shit, that was like 2018. Yeah, uh, then. I don't remember that shit. Yeah. Because he was probably really like, what the fuck? Yeah, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Never again. Hey. Right. We, but we all, we all do something. Like, I know some people did some way worse shit than that. I know some people, shit, they probably gave their whole check up to somebody, like, you know? Yeah. Or, like, think about, like, the thoughtfulness, like, of going out your way for somebody to do something and they don't appreciate it. Yeah, it's been a lot of that, too. I guess you could say that as well. Yeah. But it's common. That's common. So All right, you live in your own. Pretty much. So, number six. Have you ever had a crush on your teacher? Hell, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to say that name. Hell, yeah. <laughs> Have you ever took it that far? 
I try to figure out one, but she blew up a spot. What does that mean? Uh, she got caught up in a situation uh. in school. She kind of blew up a spot. So, she no more situations for nobody. Right. <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah. Damn, you take me back on that one. Hey. Hey. <laughs> I, I lived a wild life. Man. How old was you? Shit, I was like 18. I was 18, though. Yeah. But I've been plotting on it since I was like 17. I'm there. You I'm waiting for that moment. It's like I had suspicions. And then my senior year, I became like a student aide or whatever. Yeah. And then, boom. She sent me a demon heart emoji. Not the demon emoji in the DM. Yeah. All right, move this <laughs> But she blew up a spot. Yeah. But, uh, have you ever had a crush on this? Maybe a substitute, not the one that was already there. That's common. I ain't gonna lie. I used to be fought up when it'd be a sub and everybody was on up in there just and shit. Like, hey. I mean, to talk of the damn day, I'm like, nah, I ain't trying For real, to though. Like, everybody <laughs> talking about it. Hey, this is What? I'm gonna go, to, go in here right now. Type shit. <laughs> Type shit. You'll be like that. So, number seven. Have you ever fell in love with a hoe? Shit. Yeah. I have. I have. I have. Well, how did you, when did you find out she was a hoe? Shit. Oh. Uh, I ain't gonna say no name. I can kind of say some shit like Yeah. All right, cool. I was like, hey, everybody got to understand my situation. My situation. You know what I I was... Come out of middle school. I went to Olmstead. You know what Olmstead is? I've heard of it. I don't know where. All right, she don't know. And for the ones that don't know, and for the ones that do know, what's up, my nigga? All right, for the ones that don't know, Olmstead is an all boys school and an all girls school. We split up. So, I was dating somebody. Anywho, anywho, anywho. <laughs> it's just some shit. You just hear some shit, you know, some shit in the, uh, through the grapevine or whatever. Uh, when I got to high school, I got well connected. And being well connected, you hear shit. Mm -hmm. Before high school, I was inside the house going to school, all boys. So that summer, when I was going into high school, I was dating somebody. And she was with her. Yeah, she was getting shit done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> she was getting shit done. And uh, and this shit just kept getting back to me type shit. And it's like, damn, if this coming from you, coming from you, coming from you, yeah, nigga, it's true. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? So yeah. How'd that you feel in that moment? Nigga, I was fucked up. Like, because you know. it came from other people, or because you had to find out? I went no, I went like no nigga like getting like getting bitches, getting girls. Like I was a chubby nigga, like writing letters and shit, like uh, yeah. poems and shit, doing shit that like I thought they could. Right. So it was like that shit bothered. Yeah, because you really was investing in yeah, everything. Like, everything. So I say that shit fucked me up a little while, but they got over that shit. I think it was good for me. It's good for anybody for real, for real. People know how to get over that shit. So like, you go through that shit while you older, bro. It's kind of like you might do something dangerous. Go through yeah. shit while you young. You have to sit with that hurt more, right. you know what I mean? When you older, you're more capable of doing some shit. Girls will fuck up your car, stalk your ass. I've been stalked a lot. <laughs> I've been, nobody ain't fuck up my situation, my situation at all. Stalk. Yeah, that happened to you. We didn't talk about that right now. But yeah, yeah. I'll tell you that. All right, yeah. cool. Trap me. Like, trap? What's that mean? Like, hostage? Yeah, hell. Oh, that's right. more, I can see what, how a girl could. But for me, it was like either you get out by domestic violence or you just like you can just get fucked up type of shit. Cause it I was just one of them situations. Remain calm. Hell no, I wouldn't calm. But no. hey, I was calm enough for no situation. Yeah. Happen, but he was arguing. I was like, all right, I'm gone. You know, the nigga leave type shit. I had fucking hit my phone and shit. I yeah. I already know. I had shit hid from me. Yeah, I had some shit going on. So to find out, you know, the person you're going through all that with. Wait, are we on that? No, yeah. no, no, that wasn't the same person. Oh. No, that wasn't the same person. This is some older shit. That was like my younger self. Fucking love. Ever since then, I've been like, 
cautious. That's what it do to you. Like make you learn a lesson. Yeah. And then now in the next one you like watching your back. Yeah, I'm shit. That's why it's like, yeah, let me just take a little break. Type stuff. Type. Okay, so number eight. What do you tell girls when they think another girl's involved? So, relationship or not, it's, oh. it's about you as the guy. So gotcha. that the girls don't end up arguing. There's no beef. You just drama a messy type of guy. Yeah. What's like, when it is like that. So, um, like, when it's drama. No, like, what do you tell girls when they think another girl's involved or like? I ain't gonna lie. I'm a different nigga. If somebody else is involved, I'm gonna tell you somebody else is involved. But if somebody else ain't involved, I'm gonna be like, that's just so and so. Or just say, if you, someone you're messing with too, like, if they it, question you, difference. if they question you about somebody and saying, what are you telling them? Man. Has anybody ever. Like, oh, yeah. Like yeah, in that way, yeah. so it ain't yeah, like. Yeah. Everybody always had, yeah, I had a lot of those questions. So what, what would you and tell me? I'd be like, i tell them the truth. The truth? Yeah, because it's like, if you know, you know already. I was stupid if I didn't say shit. But yeah. at the same time, if I'm fucking with somebody, it's been a minute. Because I was like fucking one, one person for a while. But before that, like, if I'm like openly dating, I'm like I'm talking to somebody. Mm-hmm. I ain't going to tell, show people who the fuck they are. They said the third, but just going to talk to somebody. Right. So, yeah, that's about it. Okay, yeah, it's like a respect thing, because most guys out here, they ain't going to tell nobody about nothing. They don't care if they, the girls end up beefing them, they hate each other because of him. So it's just like, what is the but guy telling lie. the girl? But I ain't going to lie. What? Sometimes it be the girls, man. Like, not all the time, but y'all know y'all. Y'all be having that little shit. Y'all see. Man, on y'all pee. On y'all pee, too. Type yeah, on oh, y'all pee, like. You didn't see what she did, type shit. You know what I mean? Mm. She looked at me funny, type shit. Some women was about me right now, type shit. Yeah. You know, we some petty people. You're supposed to be all roses all the time, but at the same time, if you with it and I'm with it, then hey, what's the problem? Some people just be mad or trying to start stuff. But sometimes it is because of the dude, because they both like him. It is about what he's saying at the same time. Yeah. It like is. It do be y'all. about, hey, it do. be making uh, you feel it. like you got a chick. Like, what is uh, going on? Uh, yeah. Number nine, was there ever a time you performed bad in bed? Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, there was. There was. Yeah. How did you know? You can't be. Come on, now. Even Steph Curry don't shoot 100. You know. Like, yeah. It ain't. It, that's more good than bad, but it's just like I had some. some like, maybe I was like, right. there been some times where like I was going through some shit. Like if a nigga's really going through some shit, or well, going going through some shit with his shorty. Might be going bad, but like on a regular ass day, if my nigga wasn't like dehydrated or some shit, cause I work out a lot too. Mm-hmm. Nah, hell no, but like I had some. Not, like, Did the girl tell you? They don't even gotta tell me. I you know. Just, I, I be knowing. Like I know when I did my thing, and I know when I didn't. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? But that's good. You know, you ain't like flexing like shit. I every time, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Number 10, when maturing and wanting money mm-hmm. as a man, do you feel any less without it? Do I feel any less without money? Yeah. As I, a man, because you know. No. No. I feel having less, no. Not able to do what I want, yes. Oh, okay. You feel me? Yeah, like, definitely. Only person who can tell me no is myself. So. If I can't do something that I want to do, I'll yeah, fuck it. Yeah. But Nintendo don't fuck with me like that because anything I want, I can get it. Because right. like, money ain't really my shit. It's just, I know I need this shit to do what I need to do. As long as I got enough to do what I need to do, it's great. Because yeah. I'm asking because nowadays like everybody's influenced by people they be around. So I say you around people who like it, yeah. like it. You feel like, like damn, you know. Like, yeah. Or in, even in relationships and the breadwinner type of person. You know, do you feel any less? I feel like at Bradman and shit, it's like, what are you doing with it then? Right. Like, what are we doing with that? Like, is it, are we building something with or that just shit? Bragging. Or is it just bragging? Are you yeah. building that brand? Yeah. But one thing that people don't understand, a motherfucker can have, a nigga can make a thousand a week if he saves 950 of that. I'm going to be facetious. Then there's a nigga who makes, let's say he makes 10K. 
he blows through that 10K. Right. Who got more money? Exactly. And who's smarter at this point? Yeah, it's like, what you doing? I don't really matter how much you got. Yeah. What you doing with it? And I found that out a couple of years ago. Somebody told me, he was like, yeah, you need to come work with us. And at that time, my friend, he was only making like three something, but had a whole apartment, a roommate, everything. I'm like, damn, you're only making three every week, but you got, you know. Yeah. And it's just about what you do with it, money management. Yeah. Right now, that's really what I'm on. Like, I'd be yeah. on it, and then it'd be inconsistent, but now I'm like consistent. Yeah. Number 11, are you comfortable with your size? With my size? I say. <laughs> what was that? Bing. <laughs> I say, every time I be like, nah, but when I be like, in the motion, I wouldn't say in the motion, when I'm there, it's like, I get feedback, you know? Oh, uh, yeah. So, it's like, I might be immature, right? Not even mature, insecure right there. I, I need a little feedback. I need a motherfucker to kind of like. You need a little validation. Yeah, little so thing. like, yeah, sometimes I'll be like, you know, but you know what they say <laughs> it's not about the size of the boat this is about the motion the in the ocean I got a lot of motion but at the same time maybe I maybe I want to say hyping a nigga size that's kind of weird to say but they give me confirmation how about that there you go. reassuring uh, like reassuring there you go there you go I can't think of that word reassuring okay but, yeah. are you good with you and yeah. the lady last week? yeah of course so number 12 do you believe in the term you can lead a horse to water but you can't make, make it drink, drink. Hell yeah. and if you do what do you think it means you can give I've been through this many a time you can tell somebody something you can give it to them but what they do with it is what they do with it at the end of the day, bro, at, the the day. at the end of the day if I have this plan for you I even take you to the fucking finish line. Yo ass might turn back around or ask me why we gotta go this way. Mm-hmm. But then I found out. Child, I gotta find something else. Or you gotta find a different situation. I meant for everybody to show you. Take a different way. Yeah, that's show you. Because I feel like you can want something so bad for somebody, but if they don't want it for themselves, then it just will never happen. Yeah, it never happen. They gonna bring you down in the midst of trying to bring them up when they don't even want to be up whole time. You I thought they did, that. but they seen you with it, and they thought, hey. But they always will want it after you get it. Though. After you get it, or be mad that you got it first. Shit, you type when shit. y'all could have been neck and neck, but you was over here in the garage with little Rodney. No. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm over here, you know. Shit. Hey, yeah, that's how it be, though, so, hey. You just gotta show up, motherfucker. Can't tell me. I agree with that, too. So, number 13, what's the most feminine thing you've done? So, y'all know these days the girls is like, oh, he's sassy. Forget what that is. What, to you, what's the most feminine? Like thing? today? Yeah. Like to you, whatever you think feminine today. is, what have you done? It ain't got to be the, today. Nah, but it make, because, like, it'd be more funny because, like, I don't, I don't even act like how I used to be, like, back in the G. Yeah. I can just say back in the G and today. Back in the G, every now and then, like like I said, I was in the old boy school. Whenever I hung out with a girl, it'd get red. I used to like let them paint my nails, but like they'll take the shit off. Mm-hmm. Like, really? But, like I'll be with them for hours, like. So back then it was getting your nails painted. Yeah, it was like friends. once or twice. Yeah. Shit, I probably go for like at twelve. A nigga won't leave until like nine or twelve at night type shit. Yeah. It's back like in like like eighth grade to. All through high school, so like you really spending time. Yeah, but it wasn't like every like every day type shit. But like I've been with my freshman year, it was like a couple times I had to go. So. But I had to like take this shit off. I ain't yeah. like everybody well, else today. Right. Like, motherfuckers are getting smiley <laughs> faces. Ah, oh, they get smiley Before faces. Before you went to school, like it was gone. Sometimes though, like I remember one time, the shit was still kind of on there a little okay. bit. I was like, yo, what the fuck is that? Uh-huh. I was like, damn shit. <laughs> you know, they ain't mature, but hey, yeah. as long as we have fun, I ain't give a fuck. Right, and as long as you know, you yeah. know what I mean? But you today, know? what's the feminine shit I did today? You wanted it done, or she was just playing around? She was playing around. Yeah. Like, it was like, hey, I need, I like this, I think it's too far. So yeah. I was talking about it. it was like, 
I ain't gonna cap. It'd be like a suggestion type shit. I'm like, man, fuck you out, nah. Right. You gonna take this to make, out before yeah, I go. make yeah, her yeah, happy. Yeah. Yeah. We ain't like making her happy. It just was like just funny, like. And we be like, probably chilling like the whole day. I probably have to do something stupid. They probably have me doing something stupid. Give a chill, like. But today was the most funny. Probably listen to that Drake and Sexy Real song. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, yeah, I had to think about that. That's my shit. <laughs> that shit go hard. I ain't gonna that shit go hard. Which part? Like, what's feminine in that? The whole song. Like, that's a girl. Sexy race part. Everything, man. All of that. <laughs> Even Drake feminine in it? Yeah, got that love deep inside of me. Hey. Yeah, and then so of me. Hey. Hell yeah. <laughs> Drake sound like a best friend hearing the story about her baby daddy did on Rolex. Like shit, he yeah. bought on Rolex. Like, did he? Mm-hmm. They really like best friends. That's a good guy. I ain't yeah. gonna lie. I, I admire that. If I had some money, I'd be blessed to keep the shit. Right. Yeah. Not well. I ain't fucking. You can't go out. You right. You can't die with this type shit. Same shit. And you only gonna get more. Exactly. Exactly. So, last question, y'all. This is number 14. When you need to vent or gossip, who do you call or text first? And um, is it a man or a woman? It's actually nobody. Nobody? Oh, nobody. Like, when I was in relationships, I probably went to my girl. But I feel like there's certain things you can tell your girl, there's yeah. certain things you can Right. So I'd probably tell a friend or something like that, but then I don't really tell, don't tell nobody that. Not even to talk shit or give your opinion about something? Uh, what do you mean by that? Like, like, if I'm not sure what I'm about to do, to be like, hey, what should I do? Mm. Yeah, in that way, or like, if you peep something and somebody you know, not that they peep it, but they know the people too, like, say a coworker, you know, something like that. Or... Uh, no, okay, okay, cool, cool. Sometimes I might, but I try not to. Because, you know, motherfuckers go back around. Right. You know? So, like, so if it's something... you locked in. Yeah, if it's something deep, that shit's in, that shit's inside. Yeah. But if it's something like some shits and giggles, something on the surface, I might tell, like, a little co-worker, that's a guy type shit. Right. Uh, yeah, my, I, I tell my, my friend Smiley something, though. Oh, yeah. I tell Smiley something. You know what those Smiley Yeah, mean? I know. Yeah, I tell Smiley something. Wasn't you at the credit pickup? No. Was it? No. <laughs> nah, but, uh, but um, that was the last question. Oh, nah, for real? It was. 14 questions. I got a question here. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Let's, get a, let's, on this, let's stay on this question. What's the most feminine thing you've seen a man do that try to talk to you at the same time? Like, uh, somebody who tried to talk to you, what have you seen him do that was very fucking feminine? Like, how do you feel when God say it's giving? <laughs> do not say that. <laughs> I know. I, I already know that. Who be saying that? I don't know. <laughs> hey, I don't knock nobody for saying that. Yeah. But I don't say it because I feel like the tone of voice you even got to say the yeah. shit. Yeah. It says it all. So I guess that. No, I don't know nobody personally who's done that, but like. Like, I see Kai do it, but you gotta let Kai be Kai. You know, Kai's mad. Yeah. You gotta let Kai be Kai. You gotta do it. Because he's doing it to be funny, but like, I see some, like, I think I heard some nice shit. I don't know. I can't really think of anything on the most feminine. I can't say that's feminine. I'm sending a message. Everybody do that. Shit, I'm the king of that. I'm sending a message? I probably sent, like, I'm sending, like, so many. Like two days ago. What? Yeah. See, when when you say that, it'd be stuff like, and I'd be like, really? Then it'd be like, he's feminine or sassy or whatever. Nah, it'd be more so like, oh no, I gotta get my energy back type shit. It's like, cause like I don't be like everybody else. If I say something to somebody, I want that I want that motherfucker to see it, to yeah. apply back. But I guess it's not no bullshit. I don't be saying right. bullshit. You be for real. Yeah, you gotta be for real. Yeah, like, if I see somebody's story, I'm gonna comment on that. If it was funny or if it was like, man, they said some real shit. I think it seems feminine because of the rejection part. So I guess we've seen it as like men shouldn't be fearing rejection because they always coming on to oh, women shit. all the time. So when you weren't sending it because we ain't giving you the response you want, it's like, yeah. oh, he bad. But what about when y'all be like, he was in my DMs though. Like y'all always be like, he was in my DMs. 
type shit. He can't say that he's about to be nice. Like, what are you saying about it? Like, basically, what I'm saying is, so, like, there'd be a time where, let's say somebody was not interested in somebody, right? Mm-hmm. Probably been, like, a year when that motherfucker is probably being two years fighting for that motherfucker. Mm-hmm. He sees you in public with your friends or whatever. But, like, he's looking at your friend. And your friend look like she's probably interested a little bit. But you hit him with the, but he was in my, he was in my DMs, girl. Or, like, let me see if we got DMs. Because I, yeah, so what, what about it? But I think it's wrong. It, I think it's wrong. Yeah, I'm like. You say why is it wrong? No, no, no. I'm like, I'm like, if you don't like the dude, but they got, you know, like, they could have something going, just like, let that shit be. You can fuck with the guy. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. But sometimes we delete this shit because it's like to save our ass on our purposes. It's like you never know what you want to do in the future. Right. If you wasn't into me right now, what if you was trying to be? What well, if we was into me later? We was like, mm, I didn't respond to him for a little bit of a reason. Mm-hmm. Anything. We be just, we just, we yeah. some better niggas out here. It do. It do. But they showing you and they actions. Right, especially the happen. ones at the gas station, like in person, who really be <laughs> mad. Yeah. It'd be different if years later your friends like, oh, girl, I'm with this dude, and uh-huh. you you later find out it's the person that was in your DM. Go outside, like go, go outside. outside. Meet some people. Might be better for you. You didn't think I was gonna answer everything, did you? No, I didn't actually. You do it immediately after, like say you DM me. I didn't text you that. Now you DMing my friend Type immediately. Shit. Next day, same That's day. different. Yeah. That's different. Then about he's just really trying to like he's fishing. thirsty. Yeah. He's fishing. He's fishing, fishing in, really trying to see who he can get. Fishing. Low key right next. But y'all stay tuned for more videos from me and Benny because period. You gonna find me on YouTube. I just changed my name to Ben or Dunn. Ben or Dunn. Dad. Ben or Dunn. Dad. Period. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. You can follow my Instagram at m.chxl. Y'all can follow my auto detailing page at Exotic Cleaning with a zero as the O. And that's all, folks. We'll be back with another video. We're out.